Hey everybody, Corey with CB Railroader here. And we're getting ready to start a new project. This will be the, um, on the west end of the layout. I'm going to pan up here to the layout. And it'll be up against the backdrop net back in that corner. And it's going to be a long, uh, background building it's going to be a furniture factory i believe is what i'm going to make it so this pretty cool kit from uh, our friends up north in canada from itla scale models really really they make really really cool kits um and this this is a really nice one so uh i'm gonna make it um as you can see on the box here on the right side there, I'm going to have the uh, return there on the right. And then I've got an additional kit, which is made as an addendum to this kit, or you can build it as a separate kit. But this here can also be added to it. So... It's going to be the, it's actually going to be the length of the full length one. Only it's going to have that return on the, on the right side there. So, yeah, so that should be cool. And I've got a couple other little um, additions I've picked up, you know, that I'm not sure whether I use or not. But, um, and then there's, uh there's, what was it that I picked up? A, uh, oh yeah, it's the, uh, it's a loading dock interior kit for one of the bays. So that should be cool. So what we have here, this is the main bag. This is the main building kit. So I'm going to get going on it, get it all opened up and start sorting out the kit. And, all right, guys. So uh, I just kind of wanted to give you a look. See, this is basically um, what the shape will be on the layout. So on the track, will uh, track the spur will come in here, run up to there. There will be a concrete dock um, on part of that. I'm thinking, you know, the one, two, three doors, and then this one um, will be uh, for truck loading, or we'll, we'll see. But um, and then this one here probably will have the opened up with the interior kit. So. Anyway, just a quick look-see. Um, then there's roof panels and all that. So, time to get started. We'll be back in a bit. Hey, everybody. Just a quick look at where we're at. So, I have um, given a base coat of... Uh, this is a darker brown. This is uh, actually a primer, Steinol Res. Um, this is a red brown. Um, I like that color for a darker brown, uh, kind of a more of a burnt umbery uh, color. So, and I've done a couple light coats uh, with that. I wanted a little bit of variation between darkness. So, and then the cut stone part of this just. Um, some various concrete colored acrylics uh, and then you know we've taken care of the pilasters same colors here is the uh, painted up uh, this is the open bay uh, it's loaded up with boxes and stuff that's pretty cool that was an extra 15 bucks there there's one of the uh, chimneys and then these are the one, some of the window frames and these I just uh, use a sharpie over them over them so and they'll be weathered up further 
So yeah, it's just a quick look at where we're at right now. We'll be back here. I'm going to be applying with some more acrylic paint, some, some various different colors of brick. Uh, then we'll be getting some of the windows in and then ultimately we'll be putting uh, some uh, drywall mud and use that for the mortar. So we'll be back. All right, uh, back for just a minute here to give you a look-see at uh, where we are now. This is after applying some various, you know, bricky colors, uh, just kind of the modeled tone, working on the concrete, cut stone. Uh, what else we did get some of the, do some of the uh, plasters and then the, the brick decorating molding that goes around the top so there's the entryway to the door so I think at this point I'm ready to let this dry and then um, do a coat of brick mortar and like I said I'm just going to use a regular not spackle but a drywall compound so uh we will do that and we'll come back and give it a look-see. All right, everybody. So here we are. Um, pretty much have done most of the detail painting um, and install that I can. Um, windows are in, glasses in, doors are in. Uh, the uh, plywood panels on the closed up windows are in. So pretty much at this point, there's a lot of details and stuff to add, the cornice moldings, all that. But I basically can't go any further until I get the base model uh, assembled. So that's what we're gonna do next. We'll be back. Hey everybody, CB Railroader here. And as you can see, we got the main building assembled and got it sitting on the layout right now where it's going to go. Uh, definitely not complete. We still have, uh, you know, cornices to go along the top. Got the corner covers, the brick molding stuff on all those corners. We got a dock to build um, and just all kinds of details that are going to that uh, we'll be putting onto the building and everything. Um, it's going to be sitting onto a concrete pad here uh, eventually. So that's going to be next. And here's our little uh, open dock there. So just a lot of weathering to do, a lot of details to do on it yet. Um, and as it turned out, uh, it's... It, the only thing I don't like about it is just not tall enough. Um, I wanted it bigger than this. So I've got extra parts that I'm going to build. Um, a little roof kind of tower building on top of here. And then I'm going to add a section that's just a flat against the wall. That'll be a four-story section here and then two stories over here. So it'll be about like that. So lots more to come, guys. Hope you, I, I just want to let everybody know I really appreciate all my subscribers. Uh, you, you please share and like and subscribe with, uh, and uh, hey, we'll catch you on the next one.